hi everybody for Muhammad Sharif with you uh, let's talk today about uh, a new technique uh, it was sent by um, an engineering from Saudi Arabia uh, he, he uh, would like to model it he just uh, schematic it to me and I uh, uh, modeled it by the use of Simulink so uh, go to your destination folder okay and double clicking okay your model should be appear like this okay what's what's about this modeling for dissemination it's it's a geothermal direct vapor generation for evaporation uh, condensation dissemination processes uh, the idea behind this is simple it just we need to bump a bump uh, seawater through the condenser unit and then we have to using geothermal well as a brine heater so uh, we are going to pumping uh, seawater inside uh, the, the well despite of or regardless um, uh, um, what is the problem behind this what is the salt contaminants inside the well what is uh, but as a side effect of this operation, uh, it's still under study. But we have to uh, discover thermodynamically what is going on. So we, ha we are going to bombing uh, seawater inside the, uh, the well in order to rise up its temperature uh, up to uh, uh, our desirable uh, degree. So we have to decide the top steam temperature and uh, our assumption is that it's a complete um, evaporation inside uh, the earth. So we are going to catch up uh, fully evaporized steam uh, and we, we will use it through and we are going to condense it in order to um, get our uh, desalted water. And brine and saline water will still in uh, uh, in uh, remaining in um, uh, geothermal well. Uh, what is going on after that? Uh, it is not my specialization. I am just kidding about how to model uh, such technique, and uh, uh, we are going to continue our study about the side effects of uh, bombing saline water inside uh, the geothermal well and, and so on. Uh, all we are going to care about is just it's a direct vapor generation uh, uh, for complete condensation. This is our main assumptions, okay? Okay, for model information, okay. You have to go to your uh, model browser, okay? And check this and uh, check this here now this is our uh, cycle you have to click here okay this is our cycle it's simple direct and uh, concentrated we have here bumping unit so we are going to double clicking on this block and assigning efficiency of the bump uh, early bump temperature feed temperature CO2 temperature and salinity ratio uh, part per million Okay, because there is some effects of uh, selling water on power or, or or the process itself, and the second unit, because uh, stream stream uh, sea water stream is going to make um, or to act as a double acting process. It will cooling down the condenser for condensation processes, and uh, going to we can use this preheated. Uh, uh, feed because uh, I think it, we, we can utilize this before as a process before going to the geothermal way we can use this stream for another desalination processes maybe for another uh, work recommendation of future work we can we can deal with this so we have here a uh, uh, condenser unit condenser unit um, we have to assign here some losses, uh, major, minor losses, inner tube diameter, 
outer tube diameter, chill diameter, suppose it's 0.7. What about our um, uh, flow rate? So, uh, suppose I'm going to desalinate 1500 meter cube per day, ambient temperature, it's around 25. Okay, uh, maybe 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, L top cycle temperature. Uh, we need what is the, the steam temperature? Sure, if you intend it to go up more than 100, 200, and so on, it you have to dig more in your geothermal well. So, I do recommend 100 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius, quite normal for this. Uh, condense a number of passes. If you increase your passes, you will increase your area. Okay, it has some effect on uh, when you suppose it's four passes. I will keep this performance. I think going with a uh, lower efficiency, you can you can discover the effect. Going up to one percent, there is some com complex calculation for uh, effectiveness. It, it depends on your operating conditions. Suppose it's does begin from 0.5. Okay. For just similar, it's simple. We need just a steam pipe diameter in inch. You can uh, assign this. You can assign ambient temperature and um, standards for geosimal world. What is your standard? European standards or US, US standards? I, I am going to use this one. Okay. Set your simulation time to zero. Okay, for single point running. And let's hit run here. It's simple, direct, and uh, um, of course it's slower in efficiency because it's uh, direct condensation. Okay, let's discover our results. First one is bump. As you can see here, we have, this is our bumping board. It's 0 0 0.7, nearly 0 0.7 kilowatts. Sure, if you increase your uh, system productivity, it will harvest more power. This is specific power consumption. Okay. And we have here, this is well pressure, pressure loss to the evaporator, high pressure and uh, bars. This is, this is temperature of the feet. And this is total mass flow rate. Okay, total mass flow rate. We already assigned this. Okay, for condenser unit. Okay, for condenser, as you can see here. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, we have uh, cooling inlet and cooling outlet, and steam inlet and condensate outlet. So we have four streams. Let's go inside here and discover. Okay. L steam temperature is 100, we already assigned this one. And cooling uh, L temperature is 25, and we already assigned this one. So what is the outlet cooling stream? Outlet cooling stream, it, before going to the um, uh, geothermal, it's around uh, 62.5. We have in Salby, we have pressure, and we have distillate. Uh, a distillate temperature. This is distillate temperature. Is this the condensate temperature or distillate temperature? We have to calculate it. It's around 62.5 degrees Celsius in Salpi of the distillate uh, pressure outlet of the distillate condenser area, number of tubes, uh, uh, tube lenses, uh, condenser energy, this is heat rejection energy, and uh, exergy destruction rate. In order to discover your result in signal processing for or signal inspector, this bottom. Uh, in case if you are going to to run your model under dynamic modeling, you have to go here and check this box, and double clicking and we can write here, I condenser in kilowatt or exergy destruction rate in kilowatt, okay? Okay, so we have, we will find this value in our signal processing, uh, signal inspector. For geothermal world, let's go for geothermal world. We have exergy destruction rate, exergy, inlet exergy stream, outlet exergy, 
and we have insulby of uh, outlet stream okay this insulby of uh, of the steam and we have here okay well depths in feet and we have uh, diameter of the hole in inch uh, uh, digging pipe casing diameter geosimal well uh, pressure well head pressure uh, silica concentration and we have here according we have here this is for 100 degrees Celsius we have to dig only for 100 around uh, 300 meters according to US uh, standards for cost calculation you can uh, discover hourly cost for uh, geosimal well for condenser for pump for total hourly costs total annual costs and total water price okay you can double clicking on your cost model and assign your uh, plant lifetime interest rates load factor and geosimal uh, investment uh, costs let it be around 1040 including uh, digging and all st uh, stuff like this so suppose I'm going for a dynamic model I have to set my simulation time into infinity and I would like to uh, changing some uh, parameters let's go let's go for uh, uh, some parameters and hit run okay uh, double clicking let's go for changing productivity I'm going to increase my productivity up to uh, suppose it's for uh, five thousands okay five thousand meter cube per day okay oh, okay and uh, number of uh, passes in the condenser it passes okay top steam cycle temperature I am going for suppose it's uh, up to uh, 150 okay okay let's increase our uh, effectiveness up to um, 70 or 60 okay 70 percent effectiveness okay let's increasing my our salinity increasing my salinity up to 40 40,000 ppm okay it's quite good okay that's enough for this that's it stop okay uh, let's go and see uh, I forget to okay I forget to discover your similar results in data inspector I have to uh, to add this one okay well I'm sorry okay for uh, let's go for here for my results here for that inspector check here let's discover our results okay for your similar well uh, our request as you can see increasing your hour cost because you increased your productivity rates and temperature because um, you have to dig more and so dig more means uh, more costs uh, condenser uh, costs bombing costs the same behavior and um, we have here total hourly cost this is your total hourly cost uh, okay total water price fluctuating specific power consumption of uh, this is um, let's go in here okay outlet water temperature into the well okay this is outlet water temperature um, I'm waiting okay this outlet water temperature and um, this red temperature as well as, as you can see there is a difference between both sides difference and uh, we have distillate in Salby um, and we have here a condenser area Increasing and decreasing evaporator. This is a mass flow rate of this rate. Okay. 
I forget to discover uh, result effect on. Um, let's close this one. Let's go for uh, GeoSimil way, and let's assign some outputs here. Uh, suppose I'm going for uh, well depth, so you have to check this one. Double clicking in feet, double clicking again, and this one. Okay, remove this column, uh, hold diameter, diameter casing, wheel head pressure. Let's go here and assign this one. Silica uh, concentrations and well depth I have to write here right here where depth in uh, kilometers okay uh, well temperature it's okay and um, uh, yes a little well temperature just coming from the uh, from the bump from the condenser after uh, cooling we can go here and assign this uh, outlet cooling temperature it's okay it's already assigned okay uh, let's hit run again and trying to decreasing and see what is going on let's hit run okay let's go here trying to decrease my productivity okay down to lower values okay 100 100 is enough and decreasing our temperatures no need for high rates of uh, temperature because it's simple down to 80 90 degrees uh, dec decreasing uh, uh, number of passages in, uh, in the condenser okay uh, decreasing my effectiveness down to uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 uh, okay and uh, let's go for salinity decreasing also you can I'm just demonstrating uh, uh, in order to show you what is the effect of changing so I can change one parameter and get my results change two parameters at the same time that's it stop here we can also add uh, going here and let's for signal for sources and I can add um, signal builder block so I can add um, many signals at the same time and controlling it at once in a specific limited time in order to get my results suppose it's in hours or minutes or seconds uh, I can control this one let's inspect our results okay uh, these are our results uh, okay this you can compare your runs because this is your order result so as you can see here this run number number two and number number three so as you can see decreasing decreasing will, will cause decreasing for costs as you can see here condenser our costs bump our costs and totals as you can see you can compare between results on the same total uh, water price um, specific power consumption okay and uh, outlet temperature outlet temperature to the well okay decreasing Salby of outlet district in Salby, district in Salby. Okay, well depth in feet. Okay, well depth in kilometers. As you can see here, de still decreasing at well temperature. And we have here condenser area. Okay, so uh, we are trying to say that we can uh, uh, we can model such things easily and we can discover our results uh, it's um, this technique uh, so also I forget to tell you that we, you can send to the figure or you can export your results outside this uh, inspector and you can deal this deal with this uh, 
in your workspace here. You can find your results if you, if you type area con condenser, you'll find your results here, or just double clicking, or you can uh, drag and drop and click enter. Okay, uh, finally, it's a, a simple technique, a direct viewer generation. Regardless, uh, what is the side effects of salt of saline brine inside uh, the geothermal well or effect on on pipes? These things uh, are still under study. We just thermodynamically, your the, the model is, is uh, your model is fine, working fine, and our results it's our uh, our results are superb and accurate. Okay, you can also go in here for each block. You can double clicking, and you can edit your block, removing something, adding something, adding new parameter. For this, is, this your uh, these are your inputs, these are your function, and these are your uh, uh, outputs. So you can edit your model and reform it as well. Um, Finally, I would like to, uh, to thank you all about your uh, interest in, in our model. Uh, uh, don't forget to like, share, uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you uh, very much.